I have every single synergy in NHL 22 active on my hut team. What's going on guys? Thrashback here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. Today, I'm still really sick actually, if you can't tell. Um, I'm doing my best to get a video to you. I'm going to go through it as quickly as possible. I thought, you know what? Uh, going through it pretty quickly wouldn't be that bad. So let's go ahead and go through it quickly. It's going to be my hut team. I'm giving you a team update where I have officially turned on every synergy in the game. This is the first time I've ever done this, not just in NHL 22, but ever in an NHL game. I've never had every synergy active, so I thought it was pretty cool. Now, first of all, we're going to take a look at the synergies available. So we have Workhorse, Distributor, Buzzing, Light the Lamp, Fly the Zone, Magician, Spark, Thief, Protector, Wingman, Applesauce, Booming Shot, Bombarded, Heart and Soul, Gladiator, and Well-Rounded. I have every single one of these synergies active. There's 16 of them total. So let's go ahead and get into the team. You guys can see who I'm using and why I have their synergies active. Actually, let me rephrase that. Um, the reason I have those synergies active is because I wanted to see if I could get every synergy active. Let me just change that and throw that right out the window there. I wanted to have every synergy active. My cards are mostly 99 overall. You don't need synergies on them. So my first line is Team of the Season, Alexander Ovechkin, 98 Keith Primo, and 99 Team of the Season, Matt Duchesne. A very good line, very well balanced. Obviously, Ovi and Primo with the size, Duchesne with the speed, Ovi with the shot. It, it just is a great setup I have here. Now, the thing is with Primo, former wing, wing rookie, actually. So I have a signed jersey from him. He'll be on the team the rest of the year as I transition more and more into my all wings team. On the second line, I have Nathan McKinnon, who I just built. If you guys didn't know, I had to quick sell him. And uh, I, I just rebuilt him after getting his X Factor. I put all my. <laughs> Power up collectibles that I had all into Eisman and Lidstrom and everything that I had to lose my wings team. And I traded all of the collectibles into the X Factor to make 99 McKinnon again. We have the 98 Tease, who I love Tease every single year. Um, so he's been very good for me. Absolutely awesome card. And we have Jonathan Huberdo, who I don't really like that much. But after having to quick sell all these different 99s due to my Twitch stream, um, yeah, I I've quick sold probably six or seven 99 overall cards. So Huberdo now makes the squad. A little bit of context for why I'm quick selling 99s. Every time we hit a level 5 hype train in my Twitch stream, I have to quick sell a 99 at random. For the third line, we have 99 team of the season, Artemi Panarin. He's been all right. Uh, I've always liked Panarin's card. Decent build. He's super quick, has a great shot. We have Leon Dreisaitl, who I'm not the biggest fan of. Even at 99 speed in Excel, he feels slow somehow, but he gets the job done. And we have Taylor Hall, the former at Winston Spitfire. One of my favorite cards in the game. As he is Taylor Hall, let's be real, he's going to be very good. On to my fourth line, Lucas Raymond at 98 overall. There's the thing with Lucas Raymond. Since his last couple upgrades, he's become a much better card, and I'm looking at moving him up into the top six. I love Lucas Raymond's card. He was at a lower overall, and he wasn't uh, performing. Now that he has all the speed and, and Excel and the shots, 99 everything, this is going to be an absolutely disgusting card. Uh, we have Jason Spezza, former Spitfire, and Grand Rapids Griffin. Uh, I just made him because he was a former Spitfire. I figured, why not? And we have Dylan Larkin, my favorite player in the NHL. Of course, I have to have him on my squad. I'm starting to lose my voice again, so I'm going to try and get through this real quickly. We've got Zidane Chara. I don't like Chara. I do not like this card. I know Henrik doesn't like this card either. There's just something about him. He doesn't feel like a 98 overall card. He feels very weak on the puck, and that could just be me and Henrik experiencing this, but I do not like Chara nearly as much as I hoped. I have Kel McCarr, one of the best defensemen in the game, let's be real. Victor Hedman, 99 overall, disgusting card. I like him a lot more than I do like Chara, if I'm going to be honest with you. So I'll probably move Chara down. We have 99 Adam Fox, who is very good and I've been using for a very long time here. I love Adam Fox. However, I need to make a decision. Now I have Danny DeKaiser, the Hut Champs edition, 98 overall, disgusting card. One of my favorite defensemen all year. One of my favorite cards all year. Very good. Um, somehow higher rated than Moritz Sider. Well, Moritz Sider has a chance to win the Calder Trophy tonight, and if he does, I assume he will get a big upgrade, so I'll be, have to have a right-handed player. Now, I have this John Klingberg. He's been all right. I pulled him. Now, I have Klingberg, or I have Fox. Who do I keep and who do I get rid of to put in Moritz Sider when I get, you know, when he gets that upgrade? He's going to be playing with Danny DeKaiser, maybe. You know, I have Sider and DeKaiser together. I got rid of Klingberg. I got to make that decision on Fox or Klingberg. I'm going to go ahead and remove my sponsors real quick here. So you can see my goalie stats. We got Sebastian Kosa. He's 106-10. He's 106-10. and 10. He's been very good for me. Um, one of the best goalies I think I've ever used. I'm not exaggerating when I say that. I don't usually think that goalies matter, but he has made some unreal saves for me. So I'm very happy with Sebastian Kosa. And as you can see, yeah, every synergy is active. Now, a lot of these cards all have 99 everything as it is, so the synergies don't really affect them in any way, but it's still super cool to see everything active on these cards. Of course, we do have our abilities. 
Um, I'm not even sure what I have active. Uh, Headman has in reverse, quick pick, and tape to tape. Does not have shutdown. Uh, Huberdo with ankle breaker and tape to tape. A lot of tape to tape for me, I know that. Uh, Danny DeKaiser has shutdown. Chara has thunderclap and shutdown. Primo has tape to tape and no contest. Tease with tape to tape and no contest. Makar, stick him up and tape to tape. Costa, post to post, and x ray. Uh, Adam Fox with shutdown. McKinnon with tape to tape. Duchesne, no contest, all alone. He does not have tape to tape. Uh, Klingberg has stick him up. Ovi has no contest. Does Dry Saddle have anything? He does not. So those are all of my abilities active on my squad. As last week in champs, I went 14 and 6, the top 100 finish. So I get some really decent packs for you guys. There will be a pack opening later this week for sure with those rewards. So hopefully I get some good stuff. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way I've been playing. I'm pretty happy with my team. I will be transitioning into a wings team again after quick selling most of those players. Or not quick selling, but selling those cards for a video from No Sleeves. So uh, I had to do that. My, I'm, I'm definitely starting to lose my voice here. It's starting to hurt. So I'm going to end the video here. I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, with a pack opening on my free-to-play account, Rivals and Champs Rewards. Hopefully we get some really good stuff. But I love you guys. Sorry for the, uh, the voice and the lack of content lately. I am feeling a bit better. Definitely not 100%, if you can't tell. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.